Good morning, you guys. It's it's me. I'm ch chilling out in my hope room right now, just trying to get myself prepared for my day. I call my day in court because I have to go to trial for truancy because my daughter will have sickle cell and she missed a lot of school. You heard me. Trial. I got arrested for truancy. April 18th of 2013, my son, father, my newborn son at the time, father woke me up after a long night of sleep, of non-sleep, being up with my colicky son. Sheree, Sheree, somebody at the door for you. And I thought he said the police, you know, when you have sleep half up, you really not paying attention. And I go down the stairs and to my belief it was two police officers in front of my door so they said are you sure peoples I said yes and they told me I was under arrest for truancy for Shayla Rucker I'm like truancy for Shayla Rucker huh? you know my face just it didn't make sense to me I just I couldn't put it together in my mind because I know I just had meetings with this school I know I did I'm like, I just had a 504 plan. We just had an IEP meeting because they just denied her her IEP. And I'm like, this guy, I just talked to y'all and I'm thinking, you know, they were there to help me. And he said, no, Miss Peoples, I um, have a warrant for your arrest. I said, so you telling me you're going to put handcuffs on me? He was like, yeah, it's the law. I'm like. Okay, so I said, can I use the bathroom then? He was like, yeah, you can use the bathroom. Go upstairs. I use the restroom and I, all I can think about is like, I, I, I don't have no thoughts. I didn't know what to think at that time. I just was, all I can do is just shake my head like, oh my God, I'm going to jail. That's all I kept saying, I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. Like for truancy, I can understand going to jail for something I did. That I stole something or... I hurt somebody I can understand going to jail for that but going to jail behind something I have no control over I just couldn't put two to two together it just didn't seem right so I proceeded and I kissed my son goodbye I asked the officer if I can kiss my son and he was like yes and you know they was trying to be extra polite to me and I just I couldn't understand it like why are they trying to be so nice and making sure I get my cell phone, making sure I have my jacket and so I can call up on release? I I just didn't get it. I was so lost. So they made sure I had my things. I proceeded to go down the stairs and before they opened the door, they put the handcuffs on me. And I can just feel the coldness from the the cuffs and the sound how it, it I don't see how people can just get arrested and be okay with it but um he opened the door and it was really bright outside and the sun was beaming right in my face because my door faces east the same way the sun rises my sun rises to the east and I can hear this clicking click 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 and I look and it was cameras and people taking pictures and all kind of just people officers people in uniforms people in regular clothes people it was just a lot of people I thought like if you would have just looked around like I was Jeffrey Dahmer or I didn't murder somebody, the, as many people as it was. I didn't. They had social workers to take my son away if somebody wasn't there to care for him. And I was like, wow, all of this for little old me? Even the worst criminals don't get this sometimes, you know? So they took me down to Santa Ana. They booked me. It was so funny because the officers even left a warrant at the police station. So they had to go all the way back to get the original warrant. 
before they can even process me. So I just sat there in a holding tank until the officer go back and get the warrant. I sat there in that jail cell talking so much. Ooh, excuse my language, boy, but boy, I was talking crap. I would, them women in there could have been pissed off, ready to fight me because I was in there talking crap. No, the heck, they didn't just arrest me. I can't believe this. My daughter have sickle cell. I was in there talking mess. They released me that same day. And all I can think about is just, I didn't even know what to think. I didn't know who to call. I was just confused. The moment of confusion, the moment, just being in that moment. I go home, my son and father come and pick me up. I go home. I hear a little piece about parents being arrested, but I didn't really catch the whole story. And I had a, a really good friend of mine tell me to Google myself. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the power of Google, the power of the Internet is very powerful. Let me tell you, because I Googled myself and she told me to make sure I sit down and have a clear head before I did it. And I couldn't understand what she really meant by that because... Evidently, she must have been online and seen it. And I did. I Googled myself. And this is what came up. Charade Peoples, Orange County, OC Weekly. Six parents arrested. Keeping kids in school out of gangs. Out of gangs? What? Can you believe this? A gang, me, Sheree, a gang, Orange County, Shayla, like for real, what? I don't even know any gangs out here. I don't even know what they call. Let alone, I don't even have time, like, gang, I wasn't raised out here. This ain't my folks. This ain't my territory. So I started clicking on different things. And scrolling down, trying to figure out exactly what was going on. And there was a couple of things that really, 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 really stood out to me. And one was Orange County District Attorney press release. Yes, a press release. I said, oh, so they knew what they were planning on doing they knew it from day one they knew it oh so Sheree started doing her research based off what they were putting in the press release right so I scroll down and I see my name right there you see it defendant Sheree Peoples then I read on down it talks about social services and how many absence she has but the one thing that helped me was the dates that they had listed on here and the one date that stuck out to me was November 12 2012 I said why I just had a 504 plan meeting November 2nd 10 days after my plan meeting they decided to start this whatever process truancy stuff on me right I was like, wow, they didn't believe me from day one. The power of the internet, right? Then it says, on January 18, 2013, letters were sent home to Peoples, and her child has accumulated 20 unexcused absences. I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? I call a school. Then it says, oh, well, defendant was offered counseling, parenting classes, OC grill personnel conducted two interview meetings to try to help the defendant. The student was provided the opportunity for a mentorship through the Big Brother Big Sisters of Orange County, a mentor at school, monthly meetings with law enforcement officers, 
a case manager, and number of incentives to encourage regular school attendance. Incentives, encouragement, the girl has sickle cell. She's ill. Now one letter got sent home to me about Nan, big brother, big sister. Nothing came to me about a mentor at school. Matter of fact, I requested it for her 504 plan, meaning never did receive it. Okay? What incentives? Wow. A year and a half later, this is now September of 2014. I'm still battling this case. And by the way, the original dates they indicted me on, oh, they no longer in play. I burn them documentations. Oh, they throw them dates out and send a whole nother new set of dates. I'm like, how can they do this? Oh, I provide more documentation. And guess what they do? Oh, now instead of just saying we're going to look at certain dates, they want to cover her whole school year. Her whole from kindergarten until present. Like for real, they can do this. They can just switch things up. Not only are they doing that. They also took off the original DA that was prosecuting me and put one of the top DAs in Orange County on my case that prosecute murderers. Do I look like a murderer? I, I'm trying to keep my baby. I ain't trying to kill her. Because I won't take a plea deal. A plea deal for parenting classes. What well, parenting classes exist for a sickle cell? What parenting classes exist to take care of a child that has a non-curable disease? What parenting class exists for parents like myself? There's nothing. There's no parenting classes that can teach me how to care for my baby. My trial, my case, I can't wait to take the stand to teach the world that we don't control their sickle cell. Only God do. And it's not fair. It's not right. But this is my story. This is my struggle with sickle cell. And I hope you guys educate yourself. The more educated you are, the more you'll be able to defend yourself. And know what they can and cannot do to you. Don't end up like me. Where you have to fight the court system and fight jail time for your child being ill. Don't end up like me. Educate yourself.